Hi there, Pisces, Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your June 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. So June is really uh, a big month for you guys, and you might be feeling the energy of a very Piscean feel into things, especially with, you know, in astrology, we do have a lot of things going on in Pisces right now. We're in Mars is there, Neptune is also there, and there's a lot of aspects that are happening. And this is, you know, creating a lot of reflection, a lot of procrastination for a lot of you guys. and. There is the energy and field of, you know, dealing with reality and fantasy and if you're really able to accept your own reality reality as a whole at this time. So um yeah, without any further ado, let's get on with the reading for those of you guys in their Pisces Sun, Moon and Rising sign. Just do know that this is a general reading, so it may or may not really tune in for the rest of everyone right there. So the first thing that I really notice here is that, you know, we have the, here the Five Swords and the Six of Pentacles. So there is an energy here of something is striving for balance because there is something that is unstable. So you might be in a situation wherein you, you want for things to be balanced, to reharmonize, to be in harmony. There is something that you want to fix or maybe you are just at a point of your life where and you don't know what to do with maybe your life in general as an individual or maybe you are getting lost when it comes to your love life what love means to you in your relationship because this is also a, a, a love reading so whether it it means a love for yourself a love for someone else or whatever type of love that you are dealing with right now there's a lot of questions and uncertainties that is surrounding your energy and maybe the month of june is for you to learn for you to analyze things for you to figure things out and maybe figure out what your true self and your true heart is telling you in terms of how you're handling relationships with people uh, what love means to you who is the person that you really love those kinds of things can be coming up at this time because there could be an energy here of confusion some form of selfishness um, coming into light whether you are the one who's being selfish or someone else you are going to realize who this is and what to do with this kind of energy the last card of the deck we do have this three of swords so three of swords might be talking about the past might be talking about your own pain what sufferings you might be experiencing or maybe it's something that you have already experienced it's about healing or maybe you are at the verge of are you already healed from your past wound or are you not so either way there is a theme of something like of a trauma or something that is emotionally unsatisfying to you surrounding this energy it could be something that you have already dealt with in the past or maybe you are being reminded of what has happened in the past all those kinds of things and when we have this five of swords energy along with the ace of swords you know maybe this has a lot to do with something that has already occurred because this is you know the five the five of swords and look at the man looking back to to some form of event in 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 his life or your life her life it could be a man or a woman which did not work out or maybe you know the five of swords has a lot to do with betrayal and um disappointment when someone disappoint you that kind of thing someone has let you down so might maybe you're trying to control your feelings your um a lot of things that were not resolved in the past you're still working on them you're still not really able to move past this this phase of your life 
this can also be a situation wherein you know you're trying to get your mind um, be more settled because it is showing us here that you wanted something new you wanted some form of a happy outcome into whatever situation you're going through right now whether you're single in a relationship in a complicated relationship it doesn't really matter right now you do have the ace of cups at the top of the reading which means that regardless of what situation you're going through right now you are wanting a positive outcome a positive feel into things and you are more you know giving in to the positive emotion of what love is about what 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 is the should be what is the right thing to do with certain things so maybe you are reflecting on how you might have acted in the past or how the other person might have acted in the past whether you can forgive this person or not you see we have here the four of pentacles in the past along with the friend card so you could be dealing with a selfish person in the past or maybe you know this could also be a situation wherein you have been thinking so much about a particular person in your past maybe some form of friendship in the past an ex-lover all those kinds of things you're not really talking to them but there is a lot of feelings a lot of energy here that you're holding on to and you're not actually expressing anything even though you want to express something it has that form of energy and here in the near future we do have the world card along with the doctor which is the healing so there could be a potential for healing about a relationship from the past that can manifest into this reading um, this is going to be happening in the future it could be at the end of the month or maybe you know or it could be that this is just something that you are desiring you know whether it happens or not it's really still up to you but i feel that eventually there is some form of healing as some form of clarity is going to be opening up for you you know a lot of the scattered thoughts in your mind is going to clear up giving you a lot of clarity and insight into things which is a very positive thing but right now most of the month of june is going to be a time of reflection and a time for you to look within yourself what is not satisfying in your own life what you should be doing as an individual outside of your relationship and what you should be doing in terms of how you handle love and relationship because you know we're not expecting that everyone is in a relationship right now you could be single you could be having trouble and having a partnership and maybe this is the time wherein you need to reflect on yourself on what you really want so all i can say here is that what the very strong theme here is that there is something that you want there's some form of wish that you are wanting to make it happen and the the difficult part here is that you might come into a terms of you know wallowing in pity and trying to think negatively and all of that but the, this reading is actually showing us that whatever it is that you are wishing for right now you can actually make them happen you can actually bring them into reality so just hold on to that wish no matter how impossible it might be no matter how much you know you feel that it's hopeless or impossible there is this thin line that can you know something can actually manifest by the end of the month or maybe you know as you venture to july something might open up for you as long as you believe and keep that faith holding on there is some form of transformation that can really happen in your life we do have the death card here along with the letter card so that is going to be acting as a surprise might be you know um some form of news message or uh, a letter literally that you thought will never happen suddenly coming to life suddenly you know going to be transforming your life maybe resetting your life 
some people might find this upsetting and because it's still the death card you know but at the same time this can be a form of positive energy wherein you can reset something in your life and change the future outcome of whatever relationship or situation that may be so it could be in that end so we also have the eight of wands giving us a green light signal that you know something unexpected can be manifesting in terms of your love life in terms of your communication from the past in terms of your communication in terms of relationships with you know whoever you are dealing with right now because this is not necessarily talking about the past it could be a uh, a situation of a recent event you know recent event that has happened in your current relationship maybe someone has been selfish someone has been you know you're thinking about something that has a lot to do with someone acting by their own selfish means whether that is for a good thing or not you know you have been thinking about that and some form of um unexpected uh, situation can come about here and maybe it's through a message that can you know suddenly wake you up and giving you all of this kind of clarity the interesting part here is we do have here mercury in the sign of aries in the 12th house and 12th house has a lot to do with the past our past lovers our history uh, something that comes out of nowhere just exactly what this message is all telling us you know it could come out out of nowhere and so if you are single right now or things are not working out in your life right now something might you know create a switch in your life some form of change can really happen you know so it could also be wherein you know you will get a message through dreams or get clarity through dreams on what you should be doing so pay attention to your own dreams as well to what they are saying here we do see here that you know some of you guys are wanting to move forward wanting to progress but there is an energy here of feeling trapped so we see here an energy of moving forward but it's not going to be happening you know in a very fast pace because someone is hesitating someone is you know trying to control what they're feeling but eventually though it is telling us here that fate has its own way of manifesting and doing some form of magic work in your own life so some form of fated event fated action can actually manifest for you guys in a very surprising way which can give you guys some form of clarity especially in terms of your relationship this could be a healing of a past um, connection you know it doesn't mean that you guys are going to go get back together that's going to be another story but there is a chance to restore something that you once lost yeah you can restore it or you can hear something relating to that and it can you know give you some form of answers that you need and you are seeking that kind of thing so it is you know a time to clear out all of the confusion in the air that you have been feeling for you to get straight on what path you should be in and what path you should go forward with with your life and with your relationships so um yeah this is my reading for you guys pisces pisces sun moon and rising sign and if you want a more personal reading with me just book a session with me from my website in the stars by and i shall see you guys again next month bye